Hello, this is Tom Carhill, and it's uh, Wednesday, the 9th of June, 2021. Yeah, the summer's still here, hasn't gone anywhere. There was a rainy day, I think, the day before yesterday, but apart from that, it's been very good weather. Right, so um, one thing I wanted to do, um, I'm not giving this like an out-and-out recommendation, but there's this uh, website called... Uh, not is with me website. now. Mr. Blair, you've been advising ministers in public and in private. Look- they've got a website called Sheep Farm or Sheep Farm Studios, right? But they've also got like um, an Odyssey channel. Um, yeah, interesting. Um, well, there's a couple of interesting things here. I mainly want to show you a comment, but it just it seems very strange how um, they're putting Tony Blair on the TV, right? It's very, um, what do you call it, Ian Paisley esque. Because nobody likes Tony Blair. So what is the value of him pushing an alleged agenda? Because people just want to do the exact opposite to whatever he says. Right, now that's England. That's in England. In other countries, he's much more unpopular, by the way. I know that in, I've heard more than one African from different countries saying that in school, they have like a, they teach the children songs, uh, uh, and one of them is, you know, Tony Blair is the devil. This is like a well-known song in Africa. It's like taught in school. It's not even like a fringe thing or a alternative thing. So anyway, Sheep Farm Studios, quite interesting. But like, here's the most interesting thing I found here. This is what I want to read, right? Again, I've just come across this. I don't think I've ever heard of this person before. Definitely don't recognise the name. But then again... I might be familiar with them if I looked into them some more. Okay, so this Anthony Halifax has posted this, and it says, Jax Attali, 1981, then advisor to Francois Mitan, wrote this. And I quote, In the future, it will be a question of finding a way to reduce the population. We will start with the old, because as soon as he exceeds 60 to 65 years, Man lives longer than it produces, and it costs society dearly. Costs society dearly. Then the weak and the useless. Sorry. <laughs> then the weak, and then the useless ones who bring nothing to society, because they will be more and more of them. Because there will be more and more of them, and especially, finally, the most stupid. Euthanasia targeting these groups. Euthanasia will have to be an essential instrument of our future societies. In any case, we will, of course, not be able to execute people or make camps. We will get rid of it by making them believe that it is for their good. Too large a population, and for the most part unnecessary, is something economically too expensive. Socially, it is also much better for the human machine to come to an abrupt halt rather than gradually deteriorating. We won't be able to pass intelligence tests on millions and millions of people, you can imagine. We will find something or cause it, a pandemic that targets certain people, a real economic crisis or not, a virtue, a virus that will affect the old or the big. It doesn't matter. The weak will succumb to it. The fearful and the stupid will believe it and ask to be treated. We will have taken care to have planned the treatment, a treatment that will be the solution. The selection of idiots will thus be done on its way. They will go to slaughterhouse on their own. And this was from The Future of Life, Jack Zatali, 1981. Interview with Michael Salomon, collection Faces of the Future, Edison. Sergeus, and also there is a um, a link there that you can follow. Anyway, this is Tom Carl. I just thought you'd be quite interested to see to see that. Uh, I don't know what I think about it. It's just quite concisely put, but it's just in- interesting when you actually have somebody in the past who seems like they must have been quite influential explaining something, and then it appears that that's exactly what might very well be happening now. Okay, so it's Tom Carl. And it's uh, the 9th of June, 2021. Thank you.